Hello and welcome to our Easy Laser XT190 Belt Alignment Training Video by Benchmark PDM, Canada's national Easy Laser Distributor. My name is John Paul Lambert and I will guide you through this video. Our maintenance industry replaces millions of shivs, pulleys, and V-belts every year, many of them prematurely before their full life expectancy is actually reached. The three main reasons for this are poor design of the belt drive system, shiv and pulley misalignment, and incorrect belt tensioning. Shiv and pulley misalignment is by far the largest of these problems. We can see why if we look at the traditional methods used for alignment, which range from a simple string to a straight edge. A more modern method used today is a visual laser alignment system. Visual or optical belt alignment with lasers work well on small applications where downtime is not critical. But be aware, many systems do not work as well as others, so you must choose wisely when buying a system. However, if your goal for your maintenance department is to achieve world-class or precision maintenance including asset reliability, you will need something more than just a visual system, and you will also need documentation. Why? Because breakdown analysis without documentation is only guesswork. And if you're serious about maintenance, you will need to know the reason for any breakdown. So why a digital laser then? The XT190 gives you four more things an optical belt alignment tool cannot. The first is 3D misalignment results. The XT190 app and display interface can show the technician the misaligned machine results and the machines being moved into alignment live time. The second is documentation and reporting. The XT190 can produce this in the software including an as found and as left data. Alignment reports can also be added to a machine's history. The third factor is that it's quantifiable. The XT190 is something that gives a quantifiable, measurable result. If we are using string, straight edge, or even visual lasers, there is room for potential human error and no actual numeric result is given. The fourth, digital accuracy. The XT190 has it, and you need this especially for driver systems with two or more belts or wide belts as these are highly affected by misalignment causing large differences in the belt tensions and increased wear on belts in the wall of the shiv or pulley. There are three types of pulley or shiv misalignment. The first is angular misalignment in the vertical plane. This can also be known as twist misalignment. To correct this, we add or subtract shim from the movable machine, usually the motor. The second is angular misalignment in the horizontal plane. This is sometimes referred to as toe-in or toe-out. To correct this, we adjust the machine from side to side. The third and final type is offset misalignment in the axial plane. We correct the offset by sliding the shiv pulley in or out along the shaft's axis. Understanding the orientation. Even if the machine is on an angle, we still make the corrections the same way while using the clock face in the base of the machine as a reference. Angular misalignment in the vertical plane can be viewed as the 6 to 12 o'clock plane. Angular misalignment in the horizontal plane can be viewed as the 3 to 9 o'clock plane. Offset, also called parallel offset, can be viewed in both the horizontal and vertical planes. Regardless of your alignment tool, the alignment process for belt alignment should follow the same procedure. To illustrate this, we will show some screen recordings from the XT app. Step 1. Adjust angular misalignment in the vertical plane, 12 to 6 o'clock, by adding or removing an equal amount of shim from the inboard or outboard of the motor's feet. If you started with the horizontal plane first, you would inadvertently disturb these adjustments when you start correcting the vertical plane. Step 2. Adjust the angular misalignment in the horizontal plane, 3 to 9 o'clock, by moving the motor side to side. It is important to know that when you adjust or correct the angular misalignment, you will most likely move the offset. Ignore this for now, your only goal at this point is to remove the angle. Step 3. 
adjust to offset in the axial plane along the shaft by sliding the shiv or pulley forward or back on the shaft. With the angle removed from both the vertical and horizontal planes, this is a simple correction. However, to make this easy for yourself, make sure you clean the shaft and bushing with emery paper so that it slides. The XT190 is the only digital belt alignment tool on the market. It is comprised of a transmitter that generates a laser plane parallel to the reference shift. The detector reads the position in relation to the laser plane and provides a live digital display of both offset and angular misalignment values. The displayed value can be seen in imperial, metric, and as the degree of angle. Attaching the laser transmitter. Attach the laser transmitter to the stationary machine by clipping it onto the side wall of the shiv with the magnetic pads. This is an advantage over other systems that try and use the V-groove, as the groove is normally worn. The side mount is also a larger area, and this is important as it's the reference point that we will measure to. The laser beam, when turned on, is parallel to the shiv wall. Attaching the detector. The detector has four strong magnets that secure the unit to the shiv of the movable machine. It's a simple setup that fits on any size shiv. With the detector unit turned on and reading the laser, you get instant lifetime values on the LED screen on the misaligned results. Using it as a standalone unit in this way is a powerfully efficient option because you can move your machine into alignment very quickly based on this lifetime value. Using the detector with the XT app. To connect the detector to the XT app or the XT11 display unit, you must first go into the settings on the actual detector. There you have other setup options including switching the detector and the laser to opposite machines, changing the unit of measurement, whether imperial or metric, and changing the type of system it can connect to. The XT190 belt alignment tool is able to connect to the E-Series and the XT-Series. To connect to the XT app or display, select XT system. This is how the XT190 would look set up on a typical belt driven motor application. If you want to get documentation and report your belt alignment results, the most efficient way is using the XT alignment app. The XT app can be downloaded for free on any Apple or Android phone or tablet device, or it can be used with Easy Laser's XT11 display unit. The choice is yours. The Easy Laser XT190 Training Simulator. To demonstrate how this system works, we will be using a simple demonstration simulator that has two shivs mounted. The left side is the fixed stationary side while the right side is the movable designed for easy adjustment in order to show you the procedure. Obviously this does not demonstrate the work done in the field, but it will give you an understanding of how simple a process this is using a digital laser alignment system. When going into the belt alignment program, we can see from the start the alignment process is shown at the top of the screen with the icons. Currently we are on the distances screen, which is where I can enter the distance between the machine's feet as well as some other important data. The next one shows the measurements icon. This is where we take the actual measurements. Finally, the documentation icon. This is where we create a report. If we tap the motor plus symbol, we can see that we can enter the shiv width, which will automatically compensate for us if we're working with mismatched shivs. We'll discuss this more in detail later. We can also add the shift diameter, the tolerances, and the RPM. We will input 1725, which is the most common RPM. To enter the distance between the motor's feet, we tap the area that says F1 to F2. F1 is the front foot and F2 is the back foot. The adjustment distance is 2 inches on this demo rig. Before I move on, I can tap the detector button to make sure I'm actually connected to the detector, which I am. By tapping on the next measurement icon, you will see a lifetime result of the misalignment in a 3D image. 
This screen can be moved around and viewed in many different ways to see the misalignment. However, the best way to align is using the grid view. Here we have the vertical plane on the left side of the screen which shows the angular misalignment at the top as well as the amount of shim we need to correct at the bottom which is 10 thou of shim in the back end of the motor. The arrow indicates which direction the motor needs to go. This adjustment will correct the angular misalignment which is negative 0.28 degrees. On the right side of the screen we see the same thing in the horizontal plane. The angular misalignment in the top right of box is 0.27 degrees and below is the amount of adjustment I need to make which is 9 thou. At the top in the middle we have 22 thou of offset in the axial plane. To make the corrections on this demo rig we can start with adjusting the angular misalignment in the vertical plane. To simulate adjusting the back end of the motor and putting 10 thou of shim under the feet, we adjust the wheel. As you can see, on the left side of your screen, the vertical plane, we move the motor into alignment so there is 0 thou of shim left to add and the misalignment at the top is within tolerance. Now we begin to correct the misalignment in the horizontal plane on the right side of the screen. As we turn the wheel, you can see the motor moving in the horizontal plane into alignment on the display. Once we get the amount of adjustment to zero, we are within tolerance at the top. Finally, at the top in the middle, you can see the amount of offset misalignment is 20 thou. As we move the shiv on the shaft, you can see it move into alignment as it gets close to zero. With these results, we would be happy as we are at zero or very close to zero with every measurement we have taken. In the field, the next step would be to tighten the machine down and make sure we are still in alignment. We then move on to the documentation and report section, which shows our results. Here we can customize the report further with any photos taken or logos or notes. Different shiv widths or more accurately shiv wall thicknesses is an issue that has been ignored for many years by people using string, straight edges and many of the visual laser systems that are in today's market. The XT190 deals with different wall thicknesses accurately and efficiently by automatically compensating for the difference between the mismatched shifts. It's easy. All you have to do is input the thickness dimensions into the XT program and the program does the rest. If the sheaves have different face widths, we add or subtract the difference from the zero value to get the value for perfect alignment. If we remove the thin from the fat, what we have left is the difference. In this example, the stationary machine shiv width is 2 mm, or 80 thou. The movable is 1 mm, or 40 thou. This means to compensate, you need to set the movable shiv to negative 1 mm, or 40 thou. If the bigger sheave is on the movable side, the compensation would be positive 1 mm, or 40 thou. Shiv width compensation in the XT app software. As shown in the video, when in the distances and prepare screen, you can click on the motor for more options which include adding a shiv width. This screenshot shows where you input the shiv width and shiv diameter. In this case, the width is 122 mils and the shiv diameter is 4 inches. Document the alignment. Once you are finished the alignment, you now have a report that shows you your as found and as left alignment data. This includes the compensation of the mismatched shiv wall thicknesses and the tolerances you used. You can add notes on what you observed during the work and any recommendations you may have. This recorded document can go in the machine's history file, but more importantly, if you need to do a breakdown analysis in a year or so later, you will have a record of the alignment work. No guessing.